This is not about a perfect season. It's about an imperfect life, Marty Johnson's life, and how and why that life changed. It's hard when you see yourself doing good in football, and then when these bad things happen, everything stops. It just stops. Everything stopped for Johnson in September 2002. In his second year at Utah, after his first two games, he led the nation in Russia. Then, a knee injury ended that season. I started going out almost every other night and didn't really care how my body was and far because I knew I wasn't playing football no more and the coaches really didn't care and I just started doing things to my body and drinking a lot and when I shouldn't have. Johnson was arrested for driving drunk that October. His blood alcohol level? More than twice the legal limit. Johnson received a suspended jail sentence and probation. When Urban Meyer arrived at Utah in the spring of 2003, he learned Johnson's situation and reached out in an unusual way by inviting him to his daughter's baseball game. You know, I think it's important for kids who didn't grow up with sisters and brothers to, you know, figure out life isn't all about nightclubs and life isn't all about uh, some of the things you, you hear about. Life is going to watch a little girl playing on an all-boys baseball team. Johnson became a regular at Gigi Meyer's games, visited the Meyer's house, became a part of the Meyer family. Until an early September morning in 2003. His girlfriend called me, and uh, it was one of the most devastating, probably, phone calls I've ever, I've ever had. Uh, initial reaction, it's over. So I did not want to talk to him. I did not want to see him. Uh, my reaction was, I hope he goes to prison for a long time. Urban called me and said, Marty got another DUI. And I just went into tears. In Utah, where drinking is far from socially accepted, the family faced a decision. Keep Johnson or cut him. Shelly Meyer, a psychiatric nurse who specializes in addiction, never wavered. I felt like we owed it to Marty to give him one more chance. I never for once in a, a minute thought that we should kick him off the team. Shelly's the one that uh, really encouraged me that you know, who cares what the media thinks about it's, you're talking about someone's life. Suspended indefinitely from the team with a second DUI conviction in less than a year, Johnson went to jail on Thanksgiving Day 2003 for a month-long sentence. He had not played a single down for Meyer, yet the family prayed for Johnson, wrote to him, visited him. All of a sudden you hear a door open and here comes a, a guy that you know. That's the first time really I've ever done that. Wearing his orange jumpsuit and he comes out and sits down and that was, that was hard. The way his family treated me, um, it had been so easy just to say, let him go. And, but his daughters, his, his uh, wife, his daughters, just the way they treated me, they never gave up on me. It just means a lot to you. And now that you just talk about it, I mean, I really didn't talk about it that much before, but people know what he means to me and his family. And this means a lot that they didn't give up on you, because if they did, and I don't know where I'd be right now. Upon his release, Johnson entered alcohol counseling under Shelley's supervision. To rejoin the team this season, he had to live under a curfew, perform community service, and pass random urine tests. Marty Johnson, forward, to the goal line, touchdown! This year, Marty Johnson has rushed for 14 touchdowns, earned his college degree, and, he says, he's not had a drink in 15 months. In Utah's perfect season, it's not a perfect life, but a better one. We don't get rid of players around. That's the easy thing to do. The hard thing to do is try to correct and change an individual. It does. It takes effort. It takes time. It takes patience. And if you think he's done with this for a minute, you're, you're, you're wrong. The biggest thing he did was make me realize that I really had a problem and people cared about me besides football. I mean, and it's more than just football with him. It's about life.